Omar Mohammed is a camel man who makes a living guiding tourists in the Erg Chebi dunes of southern Morocco. Born into a nomadic Berber family in the 1950s, working with camels was a necessity. Only in the 1990s, when the border between Morocco and Algeria closed because of war, did Omar settle down, taking up permanent residence and work in the small town of Merzouga, on the edge of the Sahara Desert where his five sons were born. There is no more nomadic life. The closing of the border with Algeria pushed us back. We would herd our camels, most of which were females. We always had two or three males, two to carry luggage and one for breeding. Omar began guiding camel treks in the year 2000, but our conversation focused on the saddle-making traditions of the region, a skill that now seems lost on the younger generation. Today in Merzouga, how many people are there making camel saddles? Maybe 10 people. Those who need saddles and don't know how to make them, they get them from the town of Rissani, but they are expensive. Only a few older people know how to make them. There are people who know, and there are people who don't. I learned from working with camels. The saddle used in this region is locally called Tahawit in Amazir, the Berber language, and is a large woolen pad stuffed with straw that encircles the hump, providing a straight, flat surface upon which to place a load or a rider. These days, instead of carrying trade goods or household items, the camels carry tourists. How long does it take you to make a saddle? Three days. The nomadic life taught me, and I learned from my father. Women would weave wool blankets and stuff them with palm fiber. They would measure them, put them together, and cover them in the wool blankets they would weave. In the old days, that's how they used to make saddles. The first step is to stuff straw into a plastic tarp, sewn into a tubular shape for the pad instead of a woolen piece. The tarp is a modern concession that saves time. It's easier. Plastic is easy. Once stuffed and sewn, this will be wrapped in a synthetic blanket, another step that saves time, then stitched a final time to prevent the straw from shifting. Finally, the handle is attached. This is a separate skill that combines wood and metal put together by another craftsman. Historically, this was made completely of wood. The metal handle today is different. It used to be made from two pieces of wood. It's easy to buy this in the town of Rassani. Not surprisingly, with nomadic life no longer possible, these skills, historically passed down from father to son, are needed less and less. Omar wishes his five sons had been raised nomadically like he was, but he is practical and realizes times change. One works in a hotel just over there. The youngest one works in the mountains, in the mines. Three of Omar's sons work with tourists and camels. It might not be the same as their father's nomadic upbringing, but it's as close as one can get in this modern era. Where are you going to look for jobs? Where can they go? I didn't get my driver's license. Me, I didn't go to school. I'm not educated. In a changing world, this leaves a man like Omar doing the only thing he knows. Omar said it was important to him that at least one son continues working with camels and continues the tradition of saddle making. He must help me at times. And with the practical perspective that could only come from having lived a nomadic life for so long, he added, If he doesn't know how to make a saddle, it will cost him hard-earned money to buy one.